Sorry, you have to forgive me. I just uh, shot myself right in the eye with the sprinkler with dirty well water. <laughs> Hey, welcome to the channel, guys. Um, this is a little uh, Canadian homesteading channel that we, we put out videos a couple times a week, just pretty much revolving around just about everything. A little bit of construction, uh, MacGyver stuff, building stuff, veggie gardens, tractors, wood stuff. Um, today's video is just about how we basically heat our home. We do have natural gas uh, heat. We also have a wood stove. We try to... Um, try to use the stove as much as we can. I'm sure like everybody watching this knows it's not easy keeping the stove fully packed and heating, you know, pumping out the heat. So yeah, we do process our own uh, firewood here. I usually go around to uh, different sites after storms and stuff. If you go on Kijiji actually, it's a good spot to uh, to find some um, down trees and stuff like that. Typically the arborists already have the wood bucked up for you. You just gotta show up with the trailer, load them up and then uh, Split them up with a, a splitting maul or a wood splitter, depending on you know how lazy you are. I do both. Um, I'm a firm believer of the you know uh, firewood. Firewood, yeah, it heats it heats you twice. Once when you cut it, and once when you burn it. So you know, I do use a wood splitter. Don't get me wrong. Like I don't cut everything by hand, but you know, I try to uh, try to keep active anyway. So yeah, today's video, I'm just going to show you guys how we process wood on the farm. That was the sound of a majestic 20-year-old Kawasaki Prairie. <laughs> 300 cc, two-wheel drive. Yeah, it's pretty much 20 years old. Today we are moving our wood processing area. I use this back area here all through the winter for chopping wood. I stacked for five and a half of these skids here, which is more than enough wood for us to burn for the winter. Um, and then we realized how much how much rain we get and how low this particular area is. Like, you know, it's the end of July and we still got full on mosquitoes back here. It's just wet and dark and damp, so. We're getting all the wood out of here. We're gonna put it out closer to the veggie garden and where the clay path is. So we can uh, get the machine up there to load the trailer to get the wood to the house. And also so the arborists can come out and dump their uh, their hardwood and chips and all that stuff. So it's all going to be in one spot. I've got my uh, log splitter uh, table there now, getting ready to build that. That'll be a cool little little series there with the hydraulics and stuff. Um, so yeah, we're just going to be loading this trailer. I got a, this little five by seven trailer here on the quad. Yeah, it holds a decent load. Rear axle tends to smile at you pretty early, but you know, we'll load her up and we'll just have to stack it. It's going to be a little bit of a process here. It's getting pretty late. I just came off nights. I'm sweaty and hungry, but you know, we gotta do it. So all here, let me show you how much wood we're gonna be moving. So yeah, you might remember this from a previous little vlog, but I've got the, uh, what is it? One, two, three, four, five and a half. It's all hardwood except for this one here is um, a bunch of pine. Holy, serious spider web right there. Um, that's all pine. So. I'll use it periodically just to kind of get the fire going and then obviously the hardwood mostly maple and uh, I've got some oak and uh, what else did I get oh some English walnut it's all mixed in here it's all free wood so you know the best kind of wood is free they say so yeah enough uh, procrastinating let's start stacking and throwing the wood around Great workout. Well, that ought to get us going. <laughs> Axle's almost touching the ground, but go. Oh. All right, so. I'll give you a little tour after. This is the uh, you know, the garden bed. 
raised gardens here. And this whole area here now is going to be kind of the wood processing area slash stacking. I don't know if you can see it as a tree over there. I'm going to take that little whatever that is, a weed. Remove that and I can get, you know, five or six of these set up. The master plan is to kind of split wood and sell it on the side. A little bit of a side hustle, you know. Use my dump trailer and keep busy, you know. So anyways, yeah, I'm just going to stack these here and I think I might try that machine like I was saying. Now I've got about half load there. Maybe I can get it up and over. That would save me a lot of time. So let's get after it. You know, every step, every step you can save saves an insane amount of time, right? That's probably a nice angle there. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's go see if that uh, tractor will lift the other skid. Yeah, the front, uh, front suspension does not like this much weight. <laughs> Going nice and easy. Well, I just realized it's uh, the opening's on the other side. <laughs> so I'm gonna have to drop it, turn it around. But yeah, that's the general idea. Um, big storm's coming in here, it's starting to rain, so I think I'm gonna call it quits. Everybody else seems to be having fun over there at the pool. <laughs> I think I'll have a drink and probably have a shower. Yeah, here it comes. Okay, let's go. Neighbors are having a party. Our tractor uh, 
doing something with this tractor anyways. <laughs> so yeah, I just packed away a little bit more tonight. Um, yeah, it's been a long day. So I'll try to squeeze a couple hours in here while I can. Yeah, it looks like I'm gonna have a whole ton of wood. So you can see that tractor, like, you know, because of how, because of how uh, far away the load is, you know, from, from the lift, it doesn't lift very much, you know? You can't really expect a whole lot. Plus the actual weight of the forks, you know, that takes away from your lifting capacity. So it was so heavy, I mean, you can see like, you know, that's that's got a little more uh, soft wood in it, but this is mostly hardwood. And even just that little row right there, which way I was picking it up, like I couldn't, because the weight was back there, you know, you've seen, right? And I obviously had to, I had to push it because I couldn't actually lift it even with one single more row. So it's like, this is the max that this tractor can uh, lift. Um, how much in a, a, a face cord is there, I'm not too sure. But if you're thinking about doing this operation, you know, moving these uh, these homemade skids around with the little BX24, you might want to look at just getting straight up forks instead of a bucket. That would really help. I bet you could lift a full one, probably this height. Um, otherwise, just be prepared to, you know, make two trips more or less. Um, or if I guess if you got some aluminum ones, but I don't know what the strength would be on those. I mean, you know, we're, uh, they work. You know, it is what it is. It's a, our first tractor, we just got what we could afford. So our next tractor will be way bigger. We'll just be hand bombing these like one shot. <laughs> Anyways, let's uh, call it quits tonight. And we'll tackle, uh, tackle a little bit more tomorrow. Tonight, Mustang 60.